During the lecture, several students asked me to solve automatic door controller example. So let's uh, see what we are talking about. We are talking about automatic door in the supermarket. Uh, this automatic door should be independent or automatic. Therefore, when we have someone in the front pad, the door should open, but uh, without damaging someone standing at the rear pad. So basically, pads are sensor. We can sense if someone is standing there or not. So basically, front pad detects the person about to walk through. A rear pad detects a person standing behind the door. In this case, we don't want to open the door. But we have four possibilities of these cases. We have four possible inputs. Someone standing in front pad, someone standing in the rear pad, two people standing one in front pad and the second one in the rear pad, and nobody standing anywhere. And we have two states for the door, open door and closed door. So let's use finite state automaton to program all possible combinations for our states and inputs. Okay. So once again, we have two states. Let's say that we started from closed door. The second state of the door can be open door. If nobody is standing on the pad, or only someone standing in the rear pad, or two people, one standing in front pad and the second one standing in the rear pad, the door should remain closed. When we have a closed door and only one person standing in front pad, we should open the door. So here we have a transition from the state with closed door to the state with open door. Now the question, when the door or until when the door should stay open? The door should remain open if we have only someone in front pad. If we have someone in the rear pad and nobody in front pad, we can't close the door because if we will close the door, we will kill someone standing in the rear pad. And if we have two people in front pad and in the rear pad and the door is open, the door should remain open. So, when do we move from open door to the state with closed door? After sensing that nobody stands in any pad, the neither combination, the door should be closed. So, we move from open state of the door, door to the closed state of the door. So, this diagram, this state diagram, explains how automatic door controller should work. Instead of using a graph, we can use a table with two states, closed and open door, and four possible inputs, and we can define its transition. For example, if the door was closed and we have only someone in front, but the door should be opened. Or if we have an open door and we have bore both someone in front uh, pad and someone in the rear pad, the door sh should remain open. So here we have a transition state written in a table. Okay, let's change our uh, supermarket door and then standing instead of a door opening in the rear direction, we will now have a sliding door. Uh, so the question is, do we have the, st the same states, open door and closed door? 
do we have the same inputs? Someone in front pad, someone in rear pad, two persons on the pad, nobody on the pad. I think yes, it's the same. But now sliding door could be opened or closed when someone standing in the rear pad. Because now we don't want, need to close the door uh, and damaging someone of the, on the rear pad or open the door and uh, make some damages to the person standing on the rear pad. So basically, we have the same states, the same inputs, but the controller should work a little bit different. I ask you to try to draw the solution for sliding door diagram. If you manage to get this solution, I am really glad. Please pay attention that we open the door even if we have someone only on rear pad. Because now when we have a sliding door, it can be the same door in both directions for entering the shop and for exiting the shop. Thank you.